What's up guys, RC Hooner here again, back with you, um, doing a review on a very, very new product um, to the United States along with my area um, here in Wisconsin. So um, this is Losi's new Mini Rally. Um, it's a 114th scale four wheel drive rally car. Um, it's pretty impressive. I feel I was a little disappointed at first and now after spending some time with this vehicle, it, it's awesome. And I think you guys will see um, exactly what I'm talking about as we get into it. So, as you can see, I have two of them. Um, for the purpose of the review, we're going to do the unboxing of this one. Um, and let's go ahead and get into it. So, um, what you have here is Horizon Hobby's new product. Um, the officially licensed Losi Mini 114th scale four-wheel drive. Um, I picked up this product for $199. It's ready to run. Um, it's not a kit. It's already built. It's already ready to go. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the ups and downs. Um, there are a lot more ups than I originally anticipated and we'll go get into that. So let's go ahead and get this box open. Um, so once you open your box, um, there it is right away. The car is right there. Um, you're going to get this instruction manual with some tools possibly, um, some stickers. I mean, nothing again, all that exciting. We'll throw that to the side. Um, you're gonna get, I'm assuming this is your radio. Um, we'll put that aside, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the 1 14th scale mini rally from Losi. Um, and it's cool looking. I mean, they're definitely, definitely an awesome, awesome looking car. If you're into the rally cars, which I definitely am, very cool, very, very cool product. Um, so, why don't we put this one aside as well, and we'll go ahead and look at your radio receiver. Um, so it's a 2.4 2 gigahertz um, radio receiver. Being honest with you, I'm a little disappointed in this product. Um, being that this is Losi, and again, Losi is a huge brand in racing. I mean, this to me is an Animus controller. Um, if I had an Animus controller to show you, I would. Um, I mean, it's kind of cheap. Um, Low C for a while was, I know, doing the Spectrum controllers, which is awesome, great product. I love Spectrum. Um, this, I mean, it, it works, it'll do the job, but eh, not, not very impressed. So negative, definitely radio. Um, however positive, they give you batteries for the radio, which is awesome. This is legitimately ready to run. Um, you can take it out of the box, put the batteries in, and probably go. I don't know how long, but you can go. Okay, so here's a product, fresh out of the box, ready to go. Um, so now I, my wife and I do a lot of racing at our local hobby town. Um, we're big fans of street racing. Um, so this is a great product for us. One of the classes we race in is a mini class, um, where you have, you know, one sixteenth scale cars, trucks, um, you know, all the way up to whatever, whatever is not one tenth is essentially what's in that class. So this car being a little bit bigger than the rest, um, and a lot faster, I gotta say, um, I was blown away by some of the things. There's some things that irritate me. I feel like Losi got a little, I wanna say mass manufactured happy with the way they did the bodies. Um, you can see I have two vehicles here. Um, neither one of the bodies line up the same. Um, they're both crooked in front. Just little things. Um, you know, stuff like that kind of gets me. I feel like, you know, even at a $200 price point, it's still a $200 car. I would expect it to be you know, lined up. I mean, you can see, you know, some of the cutting is done wrong. Stickers aren't lined up right. Um, whether that bothers you or not, I guess it's kind of up to you. Um, so a couple highlights, it does have actual mirrors, rear view mirrors, body clipped in. Um, I do like that. I think it adds to a little bit more of a realistic feel and look to the car. Also has a real rear, rear wing. Sorry. Wow. Jesus. It's too early for me to talk. This is an actual wing. It's actually drilled into the body. So it's not just plastic sitting up here. It's actually drilled into the body. So uh, I gotta say I like that feature. Pretty awesome. Um, if we take off these body clips and take the lid off. Now this is where my disappointment started um, more than anything else. Um, once you take this body off, goo! I was not happy with the electronics. Um, don't mind the Traxxas plug. Again, I put that in myself. That was already installed. Um, okay, so to get into it a little bit, this is your on-off switch. Now, for those of you who have RCs, have been into RC, 
this is, I don't, what is this? This is, it's not held down. It's not even taped down. This is terrible. Um, as far as Losi goes, big no-no Losi. So, again, like I was saying a few minutes ago, um, switch, garbage. This is junk, Losi. Come on. Um, ESC, speed control, again, not a fan. Um, you know, if you want to get a nice close-up, it says Horizon Hobby here. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's, it looks cheap. It looks poor. Again, then when you talk about, you know, the look of the, the vehicle, I'm not happy with the fact that mine's crooked on here. Again, I just feel like they cut corners, I guess is the, the best thing to say. Um, servo, I'm not familiar with the brand. It, it does work pretty decently from what I've seen. It has its glitches, um, but works. Um, the radio and receiver, again, not a fan of. Um, again, I, I definitely, definitely want to say I feel like they went cheap with the electronics. This is an Animus controller. I'm telling you right now. This is an Animus controller. Um, an Animus is a $100 car, ready to run. Um, this is a $200 car, ready to run. Um, I just, I, I don't know. I, that kind of bugged me. You know, to go from Spectrum, I have other low C products. I have the Mini T-Buggy, um, which is also a low C product. I just felt like better built. Um, however, now into the high points. Views brushless 4500 kV motor. Awesome, great job with the motor. Um, this car is blazing fast, and when I say that, I mean it. Um, for those of you who've had any experience with minis, and you know, these little, uh, I don't wanna call them toys, but these little small vehicles, which I'm not normally a fan of, this thing is blazing fast. Um, it, it is shocking how quick it is. It's two cell lipo capable right off the jump. Um, so all you really do is plug in the battery, turn on this little, what they call a switch, um, and you go. And, and on a two cell lipo, this thing flies. Um, the tires are awesome, super nice and sticky, which is cool. Um, rims, I believe they're a paintable surface, but they are white. Um, so you could buy different wheels and paint them if you choose. Um, the chassis, I mean, overall, the chassis I like. Um, I, overall, I think they did a pretty decent job. I was pretty impressed overall. Um, again, my disappointments, yes. I would definitely say disappointing that the body um, is not straight. Um, I, that's a disappointment for me. The fact that the body, they, they have not, on both these vehicles, the body, neither one, the body's lined up straight or decorated with stickers straight. Um, huge disappointment. Now the fact that it's blazing fast, that's exciting. Um, I plan on racing this vehicle often, um, as does my wife. Um, it, it's, it's cool, it is a cool vehicle. You know, they did the, the center, sh the, the differential shafts, metal, awesome, I like that. Um, shocks, it's very strange that I feel like the vehicle's very stiff in the front, and then very, very soft in the back. Um, I don't know if you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here, but like, I mean, it's stiff in the front, and then very soft in the rear. Um, so that's strange, I, I think it's just unique, I guess. Um, you know, it has a foam bumper, just like a 110 scale would. It's overall, it's a decent product. I, I've been impressed with it. Again, I feel like Losi cut some corners. I'm hoping to not see any more of those corners cut going forward with the product. I, I mean, I'm, I don't want to be too picky on them because it is a $200 car, let's be honest. For $200 in the RC world, it's a great product. Um, I would rather spend $200 on this than $100 on an Animus. Um, I'd rather spend $200 on this than $129 on a Latrax Rally. Um, so again, I get it is more expensive. You're getting a better product for the price. That is for sure. Um, you're definitely getting, you know, and it's bigger, so automatically it's cooler because it's bigger. Um, but you're getting a better product. I just feel like, you know, in the future, low C Horizon Hobby, whoever's in charge of this, if you're listening, better ESC, do something with the switch for the love of God. This is, I mean, come on, this is brutal. Um, but overall, a great product. Uh, it's fast. I haven't had it break on me yet. This one, again, is brand new. This one has been out on the street running already. Um, I, I haven't had it knock on something. I haven't had anything break on me with this car. Um, I did put, you know, the Traxxas plugs in it right away because I just prefer that. Um, this is kind of neat, and I think they did this because they had to. This is a glitch buster. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's if you've ever had problems with your radio um, glitching out on you, um, you know, they, you go to your local hobby store, racetrack, they'll tell you to put one of these in. And they already installed one. 
Um, although that is a cool feature, and I like that, I feel like they did that because they gave you this, which is an Animus radio. This is horrible. Um, so they probably need the Glitch Buster in there, um, being, just being honest. But um, again, overall great product. I'm super excited to get these things out. Uh, hopefully today we'll get some running videos of them so you can see what they're made of, see what they can do when they're out on the track running and racing. Um, again, that's about all I got for you today. It's going to be a quick one. So uh, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Appreciate everyone's support. Um, Losi, if you want to send me some vehicles to review, I'd gladly do that. Same with you know, Axial, Traxxas, or any of the rest of you. Um, but yeah, man, that's about all I got. So keep on hooning. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm Ryan from RC Hooners, and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. All right, guys, RC Hooner out here with the Losi Mini Rally 114th edition. Um, like I said, uh, you're going to see this thing is blazing, blazing fast for what it is. Alright, looks like it.